I can't believe it guys, it's official. We have another Marvel game that's been confirmed and is on the way. And we've been talking about this one for a little while now on this channel because now it's officially confirmed as of this morning from Marvel Games and EA that a Black Panther game is in development. I'll mention it now just for anybody who might be confused. This is separate from the Black Panther and Captain America game that was just recently announced being developed by Skydance New Media with Amy Henning at the helm. So as of right now, we do have a Black Panther Captain America team up game in development. And then we also have a single player Black Panther game in development. So Black Panther fans, you guys are eating well. And if you remember from the videos that I had made in the past, this is as per the rumors, the potential open world Black Panther game where we're gonna be able to explore the sandbox of Wakanda. And if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. Will. so scroll down and hit that thumbs up button to share your excitement with me and with that being said let's get into all the details that we have so far first off starting off with the little teaser that they put out to show off the logo for the game okay let's check this out Ooh, looking good looking good yes okay so this is in collaboration with marvel and what is now known as cliffhanger games which to my understanding is a brand new studio that's been built at ea for this game it says here on the ea website in an official press release that they put out when they announced this game as we celebrate the 57th anniversary of black panther's comic debut this july we're thrilled to announce cliffhanger games a new AAA development studio based in seattle is working on an original third person single player black panther game in collaboration with Marvel Games. Our mission is to build an expansive and reactive world that empowers players to experience what it is like to take on the mantle of Wakanda's protector, the Black Panther. Now they haven't officially confirmed yet that this is going to be an open world game, but using words like expansive and reactive world makes it sound like they're all but confirming it at this point. And yes, Cliffhanger Games is a brand new studio at EA that they've created. It's a AAA development studio, and so they put a lot of talent in this already and they're currently recruiting more if you want to know what kind of talent well right now we know that it's led by kevin stevens who worked at monolith productions cliffhanger has already brought together accomplished talents with leaders from the critically acclaimed and innovative action adventure game middle earth shadow of mordor along with veterans of top franchises including halo infinite god of war Call of Duty and others. Now, I will say it's interesting to be hiring developers who worked on a lot of FPS games, but I mean, game developers are game developers. They're multifaceted. So I'm sure they're bringing talent in here that they feel works for what vision they're trying to create. Plus you're always gonna get me excited when I hear that people who are coming in worked on Shadow of Mordor and as well that there are people on the development team right now that worked on the God of War games. Continuing with the press release though, there's still a couple of bits that I wanna read over that hint towards this game being open world. We got a quote here from Kevin Stevens, the guy leading the studio right now at Cliffhanger, saying we're dedicated to delivering fans a definitive and authentic Black Panther experience, giving them more agency and control over their narrative than they ever experienced in a story-driven video game. Wakanda is a rich superhero sandbox, and our mission is to develop an epic world for players who love Black Panther and want to explore the world of Wakanda as much as we do. Again, they're, they're not saying the words open world, but they might as well be from what they're mentioning here. I find it weird that they're not officially saying it, and they kind of did the same thing with the Marvel's Iron Man game that they announced over at EA as well that's being developed by the folks who worked on the Dead Space remake being Motive Studios. You know, when it was officially announced that Iron Man game, all that we heard was that it was a single player story driven action adventure game, just like what they're doing with Black Panther here. But now we found out from job postings that people need experience in open world games. And so a lot of people have come to suspect that the Iron Man game is going to be open world. And we've heard rumors as well about this Black Panther game that it's gonna be open world. And based on all these quotes and these little bits and bobs from this press release, it sounds like it's going to be. And I feel like why pass up the opportunity to create an open world sandbox with the setting being Wakanda? There's so much that you can do there. Even from the little glimpses at Wakanda that we've gotten to see from the MCU, being able to stand there and run around with the controller in your hand would be something that gets me incredibly excited excited and i'll be sure to keep you guys up to date on everything for this black panther game so make sure you're subscribed to this channel and make sure you got those notifications on the press release also mentions here as we be 
begin this remarkable journey, we are excited to be working with Marvel Games to ensure that we craft every aspect of Wakanda, its technology, its heroes, and our own original story with the attention to detail and authenticity that the world of Black Panther deserves. It's an incredibly rare opportunity to build a new team around the values of diversity, collaboration, and empowerment, says Kevin Stevens. All of that sounds really good to me. It sounds like the team here knows exactly what they're doing, and they understand the character of Black Panther and the characters that surround him. And I'm very intrigued to see what the story is going to be about in this game, especially if it is open world. How do they tackle that in terms of like side quests, collectibles? all that fun stuff that you would expect when you go into an open world experience. Plus, you'd want to know if it is open world, how big it's going to be. How expansive is that open world? One final quote here, though, that I wanted to read for you guys in this press release. It mentions here, we want our game to enable players to feel what it's like to be worthy of the Black Panther mantle in unique, story-driven ways. And we want Cliffhanger Games to empower everyone on our team as we collaborate to bring this amazing world to life. Now, that's really interesting to me because it sounds like in terms of the story they're gonna do something different here where we're gonna experience what it's like to take on the mantle of Black Panther and I'm really intrigued to see exactly how that's going to play out because there are rumors of a potential character creator or something of that sort where we get to jump in and essentially make our own version of Black Panther which I think could be fun but I also wonder you know are we gonna be playing as T'Challa what's the situation here and I'm also gonna leave a link in the description box below because the press release mentions that they're looking to hire new talent so if you want to work in a black panther game if you're in the game development space check that link in the description box below and see what job postings are currently available they've already got some pretty stacked talent as is right now at cliffhanger studios and if they're looking to hire even more incredible talent for this game then i have a lot of faith that it's going to be amazing the only sad part is that we're probably quite a ways away from both this and the iron man game as they're only just announced as of right now i mean with this black panther game they're literally just announcing that this AAA studio exists. So they've put the team together. They've just started work. So we probably won't hear about this game for a while. And it's going to be a couple of years at the very least before we can get our hands on it. But the good news that can come from that is that if we are a couple of years from this game even coming out, then you can suspect that it could come out on whatever next gen consoles are currently being planned. We've seen that from job postings, the Iron Man game requires you to have knowledge with Unreal Engine 5. And I think it's safe to assume that this game might follow suit. And can you imagine a Black Panther open world game that's on like a PlayStation 6 utilizing the power? power of Unreal Engine 5, that would be absolutely mind blowing. So if we could find one silver lining in this game just being announced and being so far out from being released, it's that when it does inevitably come out, I'm sure it's going to look damn good. And with that being said, now I want to kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think about all this information and all this news? Are you excited that a brand new Black Panther game is currently in development? Sound off with your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, hit that that thumbs up button. I've been Caboose and I'll see you guys later.